Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you, and this one is from AITA and is titled, Am I the Askinaut for being rude to my wife because she fed her parents and left me with nothing? I was making dinner and got a little behind. I had a meeting for a charity I help out with and had to leave before I could eat dinner. I rushed out the door and said I'd be home in an hour. I get home and I'm rummaging through the fridge and my wife asked me what I'm looking for. I said, the leftovers. She said there weren't any and that she offered the food to her parents who stopped by. I said, thanks a lot. I said, thanks a lot, rudely, and she asked what the problem was. I told her I was upset that I didn't get dinner because she gave it away, and now I have to find something to eat at 9 o'clock at night. She told me I was being an asshole, and that it wasn't a big deal. I just shrugged and started making my meal. Am I the astronaut? Top comment on this one. Let me double check what I read there. You made the dinner. You didn't have a chance to eat any of it, and she gave away your food. If she knew you didn't have a chance to eat any of the food you made, and it seems likely, then she is the asshole. Edit. I thought I thought this was obvious, but in TA. I okay, so that's not how I understood the story. How I understood the story was he rushed out the door. She didn't know that he didn't have a chance to eat it. And she never clarifies whether she knew or did not know that he didn't have a chance to eat. I think this is a miscommunication. I think so. I think it's a miscommunication. I think uh is there an obligation on her if or or should it be obvious that he didn't have any? I, I guess there's the question. If he prepared dinner, it should be obvious that his portion was not missing. So she should have known or should have inferred or deduced, right? She should have deduced. And he said, thanks a lot. It's not like he was like, you stupid bitch, quit giving away my food. You know, he was like, thanks a lot. Cool. Now I have to rummage and eat a star crunch and feel like I'm chewing on nails at nine o'clock at night. Speaking of, um, every once in a blue moon. I say every once in a blue moon. It happens pretty often. Uh, I'll grab like a little chocolatey snack late at night uh, while we're watching Love Island. Last night, we're watching Love Island. We're giggling our asses off. My favorite thing to do in the world with Candy Thunder. Just giggle our asses off. We're giggling our asses off just about the show. Uh, And then I look over and there's this like brown smudgy stain (laughs) on, on the bed. And the dogs get up on the bed. So I look at it and I'm like, I don't know if this is chocolate or poop. And I say that out loud, and Candy Thunder has a mouthful of water because she's just taking a big old gulp, like, from her Stanley Cup. And I hear it eject from her mouth, and I hear splat, splat, splat. She spit this water halfway across the room, y'all, when I said, I don't know if this is chocolate or poop. Uh, It was chocolate, by the way. I tasted it just to make sure. It was chocolate. (laughs) Uh... yeah. So okay. So in this in this case, I'm going NTA because the part his partner should have deduced no matter what that his portion was not missing. Even if he didn't explicitly say, "Hey, I didn't eat. Don't give any food away." He shouldn't have to. Uh, also, I believe as the maker of the food, the maker of the food probably needs to give some kind of clearance on the giving away of leftovers. Now, our situation is a little bit different because I feel like this is something that that we would do, but you would know it'd be it's no big deal. It's no big deal. I don't think it's an ESH because I think he had the right to be a little perturbed and he wasn't like over the top rude. He was just perturbed, right? 